Dr. Crash, it's a wonderful privilege to see you here at EMO 2019. Now, array of products as normal, but I must say, you kindly invited MTD CNC to visit all your factories. And I must say, I'm taken back with the technology, the investment that you put in, and especially uh, in German market, is very, very core for you. So, what I want to start with today is, you've got something a little bit different here, a little bit shiny. What, what are you showing here? Actually, we're showing the new design line for our tool holdings. And uh, the idea was, we have done a lot of development work over the last couple of years. And we wanted that the design should show the technical prowess. Because I felt we've done so much, but every truck looked different. And the idea was this, this new design should symbolize quality and performance. Looking at some of the, uh, the, the older products that you've got, which I presume you're still selling uh, because this is just a prototype, it, do, you, do you get corrosion wear on, on the older products in, in, in based on these polished products? I think it's an important point that you're mentioning. So it's not design put on something, but it's product design, which means everything that design has a certain function. So one distinct feature is that the trucks are polished, and this is to increase the corrosion resistance. So there's an increase in performance, and there are some other features. For instance, the screws that you need to activate the hydro truck, for instance, we mark are now blue, not black anymore. So it's easy for users to know where to handle it. A new marking system, it's also very much visible, and there's some secrets inside. So overall, it's not only design, but uh, there's a reason for the design, giving better performance to the customer. And when do these go into production? Uh, as fast as possible uh, with the feedback we have received, but realistically it will be Q2 next year. Okay, another point I want to touch on is, is that we, we know the economy in manufacturing, automotive, there's, there's lots and lots of changes. Now, with e-mobility, MapHour have been working for tirelessly for many, many years, and I can't believe the array of different solutions that you've got. Does it continue to grow? As you said, we started quite early many years ago, because we, we really, even 10 years ago, we kind of felt that combustion engine would not be the future for the next 30, 40 years. So we saw e-mobility coming, we didn't know when, so we started to prepare early. And that's why today we see a vast array of different solutions catering to different parts and different machining technologies. And actually, now, with the last two years, we see a substantial growth. That means a doubling of our sales in the area every year. And the, the other thing I've noticed is one of your technologies is being used in e-mobility, additive manufacturing, 3D printing. Now, some, some of the housing, or the tooling for the housings that you're, you're actually manufacturing, they're so light. Yes, and this is another trend that we are seeing. Uh, people today, for a lot of the automotive components, are using HSK 63 machines, that is, lighter machines. And they don't want to invest in HSK 100 machines, so the tools need to become lighter. This is true for the boring tools, but we're also showing here uh, some circular milling tools, the bigger ones that we also need for these applications, also in 3D printing. And we really see we can reduce cycle time. And, and with automotive, I'm quite interested to know, uh, I know you can't name manufacturers, but do you, do you work with them on, on a series effectively? Are you actually making, making the new generation of housings for electric motors effectively? Absolutely so. So we see a transition now from prototyping to real serial production. Still on a lower level than compared to combustion engine, but serial production starting. And the product, many of the products that you see on the road today from European manufacturers, actually the e-motors are machined with MAPA technology. And I've, one thing I've noticed at MAPA all the years I've known you is that you work with your customers from a partnership and that's where some of the new products come from sometimes. So is there going to be new products coming over the next few years from MAPA? I mean, of course, this is something we are striving for. And uh, actually, I don't know these products because they come from a discussion with the customer, with their new needs. Also, as there's new manufacturing technology available, like 3D printing, like laser cutting, this also influences uh, our solutions. But what I can see already now, there's going to be products, but also a lot of things to be expected on the digital side. So the interaction with the customers and the services we are providing will be both uh, hardware, but also software solutions. 
Well, it's always a pleasure to meet you anywhere in the world, but EMO 2019, your backyard, it's been a fantastic time. Thanks very much, Dr. Cress. Thank you very much for stopping by. Always appreciate it.